I would like to discuss two different properties. One of the properties is called cohesion, and one of the properties is called adhesion. And in order to do that, for our example, we are going to use water. H2O. My first example is for cohesion. And so I'm going to bring up a pond here onto our screen. This is a pond. And sometimes on ponds, there are insects, little insects. And those insects are able, this is a little insect, those insects are able to skitter across the surface of the pond without falling into the pond. So they stay on the surface. And the reason they do that is this property called cohesion. I'm going to show you how cohesion works. So if I'm drawing a water molecule here, I'm going to draw two of them. Uh, so over here on the left, I have one water molecule. And here on the right, I have another molecule. So water molecules are attracted to each other because the O part of oxygen is negative. That's this yellow dot here. And that negative charge is attracted to the H part of water, which is positive. And so there are hydrogen bonds that exist between water molecules when they exist in nature. And that's why insects in ponds don't fall into the water because all of the water molecules underneath them are bonded together. And that's called surface tension. All right, in my second example, I'm going to describe adhesion. And in order to do that, I'm going to pull up a picture here of a glass. And so when you put water in a glass, it adheres to the side. Water clings to the side of the glass in this sort of U shape. And that's a property called adhesion. Here I'm going to fill in our little glass of water. All right, so here's our glass of water, and there was water clinging to the sides. Now, adhesion is when water clings to other molecules. So in this case, the water is clinging to the plastic or glass on the side of the uh, glass. And so that's a property called adhesion. I hope that explained cohesion and adhesion for you.